I like your step right up. I really right like up. that. Yeah, no, I used to have to, I used to sell like programs and merchandise at concerts, so I used to do that, but I don't do it in a, in a mocking kind of gesture, of course, kind, yeah. kind of way. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't anything serious. But uh, as we get this game underway, we can take stock of how FaZe Clan are going to look on their CT side. Cold Zero has a Diffuse Kit and a Smoke in hand. Be curious to see if Kyobi just gets plugged and played into the standard positions or if they want to use him elsewhere, because Rain's a bit of a monster in the bathrooms as it has been in the past. Nico and Brokey aggressive towards long. Damage being done on both sides early. Nico isolated, no teams able to land the headshot there and everybody getting away with their lives. So thinking better of it. As Vitality accelerate out of the bathrooms. They're trying to swarm A. They're trying to take the territory while they can. Oh my God, Every someone hit a headshot, please. Body shots and they work. First blood drawn, rain sent to the grave. Nasuta has got damage inflicted. But he'll just be set up for quite a simple approach, and I like it actually, considering their numbers. The fact that they have the numbers advantage, they've parked two players in the connector for just to stop any fast CT rotates, and looks like the CTs are boosting. That might be good here, depending on where Apex decides to use this smoke. You can see he has the P250, the smoke, and the flashbang. Looks like he's lining up a smoke now. Oh, he has fluffed it, ladies and gentlemen. That is not where that was meant to land whatsoever. Kirby had a chance. Zywu was low. He's fluffed it, and now the bomb can go down. Nico's flank. It, all it takes is a cursory glance from Apex. Oh, no! And no Nico's side of the head does get him dead. Masuta trades. Brokey finished off. Kirby needs some precise headshots, and it's not coming in today. I'm telling you guys, the hardest rounds or the hardest kills to get in the game are against pistol players not looking at you. Yeah. It's just so difficult. At that range oh, as well. Man. It makes you want to kick yourself. That's a desk slam moment and a half right there. Oof, 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 oof. That's the feeling I would have too, Nico. That is not how you want that one to be going down whatsoever. So the force buy, the instant response here. Okay. Scout for Nico, scout for Brokey, Deagles for the rest. Other side of things, Apex with his patented scout now. Every time. You keep, call, you keep calling him out on that. I'm not calling him out. It's just it's interesting just that he's unusual to see him with it. Yeah, like w there's other like shocks, orbs, Zywu orbs, Apex scouts apparently. That's the tag onto the aforementioned Apex. Scout Rain's in trouble now, and he will be run over by the MAC-10s. Cold Zera trying to perhaps catch them in the off angle. Brokey to bait in, but they're going elsewhere. They get their first frag, and they head back to B. Same as the pistol. And to be fair, I used to buy the scout on the force buy, and I wasn't the Ooh, of my team, so... Uh... I like the, the bird's eye. Gibby needs at least one here. We'll take two. Magnificent. Double kill. Straight into the B site, though, is Vitality. They don't have any nades other than Apex's smoke, which should well just placed. arrive at the perfect time. So they can boost over this once they have sandbag control, and Kyoby's already up there. So two scouts retaking the B site. No easy feat, but they can scavenge some of these dropped weapons. Yet to pick them up. Going for a boost. Oh, and shocks. He's locked them out already. Did catch a bullet, though. It's something, but, you yeah. know does get awkward right about now. Time half gone. Nico accepting he's not going to be getting any more than a saved rifle. Cold Zera still sticking around, hoping that an AK is delivered to his front doorstep. Should we go to the gym after work? I didn't go today. I didn't go today either. I'm down. I mean, I need... I, I just need a quick 30 minutes. Like that, that's what I'm saying. 30 minutes, just yeah. picking up heavy things. Quick shower. Make me feel good. Play shower. Play some angry music. Play some Counter-Strike. Yep. Well, don't know about the Counter-Strike, but I'll... You know me, Alex, got to be in bed on a reasonable time. Tucked I've in. been really enjoying my late night swamp gathers with my American friends. Okay. It's been great fun. Is oh, Jason Moses O'Toole's been in the mix? Yeah, he joins us twice now. Hopefully he's got some good strategies. He finishes his days. liquid practice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He was like 15 minutes, just, just tidying up some strats. Yeah, just uh, having a debrief, guys. But yeah, absolute uh, pleasure to check out these new maps and the fact that it's people that are passionate about Counter-Strike making new maps that are seeing the light of day in the game itself is something we should appreciate and not take for granted. Rush, when are they bringing Frostbite in, you reckon? I don't know. I think it's going to be a winter update, honestly. It makes sense, right? But so what, we're in probably about a month's time? Something like that. I want to play it now, though. Like, I know, we ran, had to run around on it. It's We've the next danger zone map, we think. Ooh, like a snowy one. Yeah, they, ooh, okay, this might get interesting for a second. We'll check back in on the danger zone in a moment. Yeah, there's a, there's a world where this gets awkward. That bomb, in limbo. That's what I'm saying. I think Shox, as soon as he calls this clear, he'll be happy to just disappear.
jump ball. Yeah, the ace stack right now, and it is the right call. You can see everyone sauntering on over, holding that shift key not to give away any sound cues. With a minute left on the clock now, it's going to come down to the jewels for Vitality. They have a bunch of utility, so they can smoke off towards the site, but they always love a bit of contact, don't the Vitality boys? Taking out range should be the easiest of the four remaining, but okay, it dinks out. Apex on notice. RPK swings. Molly for the bin position. Won't let Brokey participate. Kirby nice knocked shot. off his perch. Called there on Optimus half health. It's a two on two now. The nade looks very good, very promising. Doesn't quite find him. 25 seconds now. Smokes the bank position off. Brokey trying to find a gap. He's got the feet. And he should convert it. Apex to clutch. Cold Zera, 20 seconds and Two low bullets. HP. He's managed to evade the look. 13 seconds now. He's bomb. By himself here. He is. He thinks he's stuck on the trip to the uh, Optimus. He repositioned and Cold Zera gets the frag. That's stuff. big in the grand scheme. Four frags from Cold Zera's position there. And it's all entirely up to him to pull them into the first round of play. All right, well, the buy will be able to come up for Vitality as three players have over 4K. Masuda can get uh, a Deagle or an SMG. So I will, a similar situation. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't want to go for the buy here. This is Vitality we're talking about, and there we go. The purchase comes through. Masuda's actually opted to go for the Galil, so even more of a potent weapon than what I was suggesting. On the other side of things with a freebie, because it was basically an eco round with a couple of saved over weapons, you can see the buy is looking very, very good. Brokey with the AWP out in round number four. Oh, and Masuda copying a load of damage as Nico unleashes. They also have four players, well, they had four players leaning over towards the B side of things. I believe Brokey's still floating around in heaven. Oh, this is a bit late for Coltera to be pulling around smokes, but these Tech Nines, they are intimidating, but so is Kirby, it seems. He's got three, tags up the third, not quite converted. Now Nico filling the feed, and that's that. It's a quick 2-2 two -two phase, holding the wolf from the door on the B take. Yeah. How has Cole got so much cash? His clutch, his survival, there's no need to rebuy the M4. I just answered my own question. This is good from Kirby here. Stopping the rush, making sure that they're unable to get in with that play. And uh, Apex a bit surprised. I'm not sure what they're talking He's through. He's so animated, isn't so, he? So, sorry, what? Like if you had to make a Counter-Strike player out of clay, like a claymation. It'd be Apex. Apex would be a prime prime option. Yeah, he gives us some good reactions, doesn't he? Now, uh, we'll be on the pistols here. The barbecue is pretty good, huh? I feel oh. it's such a treat on the weekend. Warren I, misses out every time. I can't believe we get barbecued meat delivered to our door. Like, there's, there's a man out there who's... He's, he even gets to choose how you want the steak cooked. I didn't get around to the steak. I did all the spuds first for some reason. But you, you filled up on the carbs? Yeah. Oh. Well, I had, I had the sausage. I went for uh, medium. I'm more of a medium rare guy. Yeah, well, I just took what was available at the yeah, time, to be honest. I'm fussy. And to be honest, I answered in German, so God knows what I actually got. Yesterday, when we were, we were out by the by the river, and we were handing back the glasses, I, I thought she was asking, she, I thought she was saying, do, the three, returning three glasses? Yeah. She said, do you want three more beers? Uh, no. She said, knock me yeah. 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 And then you had yeah. three half a beer. I did, it was great. Technically, I, I did tip them three euros, so I wasn't. Three is a strong word. Yeah. I guess if everyone won. Yeah, I think everyone wins in that scenario. Poor old uh, RPK. Eliminated. Extinguished. Homicided. Brained. Brained. Uh, Rush, which ones are we forgetting? Uh, let me get my little sheet of paper over here. Decimated. Decimated, obviously. Uh, frag, that's a pretty Fragged. unique one. Extinguished, you already said that. Ended. Ended, yeah. Goomba. Goombered. Don't um, forget Goombered. Decimated, ob obviously. Say that one again, I swear. Murdered is pretty good. M murdered, yeah. Yeah, real creative. Yeah, Death. it's really on the, the creative peak, I think. Artsy, some would say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, trigger words around here at an all-time high is Vitality on round number six. They don't have an AWP to speak of, but they do have five AK-47s. Scoreline three to two. Vitality want to bounce back and equal that up. Three, three is... Brokey has something to say about that. The tank, the hero of Dust 2, out of the equation nice and early. I think all those bullets were going where he wanted them to. Wild spray. They have to apply a bit more pressure over towards A if they want shocks to be able to lurk onto the B site and find an opening and cause a bit of uh, commotion. 
So you can see Shox now on the radar pivoting and trying to look for any sneaky CTs going for too much aggression. His job is merely to keep them interested and go for a late round flank as Vitality will be taking bathroom control. So Zywoo leads the charge. Malta will hold them at bay. Apex has the bomb and he's on his own towards long. I don't like this. This is ballsy from Nico. Look, I was, I was about to walk into the crosshair. What a gamer. Big plays from FaZe Clan. They might have to get their lead. You're right. They're going to have to pivot. Apex bomb spotted long. Shock set up on shot. Is he going to try and walk out? This is ambitious. The he left is. eye peak for Cold Zero. Well, onto Cold Zero even. Doesn't get to even do a point of save. damage. Yeah. They should save on it's this. It's a T side. They have to make a choice in the next 20 seconds. Here he goes. Just jumping into the doors, it seems. Less fun. Ugh. Well, that was well handled by FaZe. I like the initial pick over towards Long. That kind of took the steam out of Vitality's attack. Nico playing around the smoke that you highlighted with a big frag there. You take out Zywoo. Is that a CT smoke? Uh, yes, it was. Cool. Really cool. I believe it was, anyway. I should be able to check. Hold on. Let me, let me jump into the skybox. Uh, one more time. If it wasn't, then they left a big gap in it. Yeah, I mean, you, you rarely see a T-side smoking that, so it's... Oh, what, you're right. It, it was a T-side smoke, oh. so there we go. Well, what a terrible gap they left. Yeah, and they should have been aware of it, right? Yeah. So Anyway, back down to the pistols. Faye's not looking too shabby here to kick things off, but remember how Dust2 went. It was a great start. Stopped in its tracks by the tank, and then a 9-6. Pretty serviceable. This is their CT side, though, Alex. If we see them posting nine-plus rounds, we could be on here for a third map. It's true. I believe that was Nuke as the decider if we need to get that far. Who on the A site? Brokey trained with the AWP. Apex over towards long again. Misses his shot. Dangerous now. Yeah, this could be getting a little hot and bothered, but looks like Nico and Rain. The turrets have arrived onto the site, and it is just with their powers combined that the round does dissolve and disintegrate. Poor old shocks. No armor and a deagle. And imminent death. Spotted by Rain. Brokey to peak. Coldzera might even fancy a little look as well. Yeah, may as well just try and frag him. You know that shocks is going to be uh, on the lurk most rounds, and eventually he will go down. So we might need to see a bit of fire out of the vitality side of things, but the faster you play against a team like FaZe, probably the happier they are to receive, right? They're a very aim-based team, at least historically, and they're more than happy to play heads-up Counter-Strike. Now we take another little look at everybody. Oh, there's a budgerigar on that gentleman's shoulder there. They look like a rather nice road bike as well. Good to see our fans are getting outside, getting their vitamin D. Okay, all for Zywoo this time. He's Last. the pack. Yeah, good removal of space right here from FaZe. So they've taken sewer control. There is a timer on this. You can only hang around for so long. They have another smoke or two more smokes, one for Cold Zero, one for Kirby. Nico's actually playing it with them as well. So this is the RPK flash, I think. Setting up to flash into the connected position. Masuta, he's just left. There'll be no one home. They'll see it's clear. And actually not opting to close the door behind them. So leaving that open for a little bit of early information, that will allow the rotation. Brokey now heading back over towards the A side of things. Rain does need some help as they are making their way through the Rain playground. in toilets, bro. That used to be such a conversation. Yeah. So long ago now, but as we highlighted, it's not been a map we've seen too much of from FaZe. In fact, not once since the addition of Marcus Kierby. Kierbu. Very quiet stuff here, but it will be the A finish. Rain is in an awkward spot. Oh, no. Double oh, dink. No. But it's Masuta with the triple. How did he control that? Maybe Cold can solve the risk three. It's all on to him. Three to find. Bombs pivoting to the other side. So this is just Apex. And he gets the frag all the same. So clean for Vitality into the eighth round. That's Second huge map. from Masuta. That's like I want to see how he got the multi. Like I, I mean, we didn't get to catch it, so it's hard to appreciate. But the fact that we just saw a flurry of frags solving a mystery for Vitality, because it otherwise did look like it was all phase. Yeah, that was that was a wild spray there. So you can see here from the third person POV that it's almost like all three of them lined up. 
Can we just get that last frag there onto Nico? So, wow. That is a bailout 3k right there. That was super, super deadly. And now three on the board for Vitality. Double orbs this time on the side of FaZe. And Nico, look how close to the smoke he is. They need to be so careful. The spam <laughs> makes Shocks think better of it. And now that they've heard the tag, they know that someone's just on the other side. Shock staying alive is very, very lucky. The HP, that's unconfirmed damage. No damage was done, though. They'd have heard that, though. Oh, they did get hit, yeah. Uh, yeah. They got spammed through the smoke, but they're not certain on how much or how far Certainly. away. Certainly. Look at this. They've already crapped up with a minute and 15 left. Rain's going to get caught off guard. Yeah, on a jiggle. Oh, just oh, like that. Dear. Oh, the site's dear. open, and they're just basically being asked to retake the site or save. What a great pace change. So fast. And, and they did walked enough. all the way and through. I'm, I'm trying to understand, Chad. Can we just skybox the minimap for me? Sure, let me just get it sorted. Yeah, exactly. You can want to see up. exactly. I basically want to understand what they had seen. So I know Shox was the only one short tunnel. He extinguished the molly and basically was tagged in the smoke. That was about it. Yeah. So there was a sound cue that there was some presence monster tunnels. And then no one had info toilets. I want to understand that. I, I want to basically just cast the round from the minimap if we can. Yeah, I can... Uh... We I can do it now. Speed it up. We else? should be able to drop it in uh, whenever production are ready. So I'm good on my end. I just wanted to get things in in order. Uh, I will have it at four times speed, just so that we're not yes, uh, getting yes, stuck yes. on it too much. So we can bring this up as soon as the round has come to an end. And this one here will uh, let me draw them a little drawy tool just in case we need her. So here it comes for everybody. I'm going to start playing it out. So, so you can see here at the shocks. start, it's he just shock here. A molly. That's yep. it. That's all that happens. And it's a four man B lean. So we have three over there and Brokey covering off towards monster. And you know, Rain, hold up. I might be able to go back to it. Rain was forward. He got flashed back. So let me just see. Just straight back. Do they, do they let go of W now? Let's watch that pack. We're just walking the walk, whole walk, way. Walk, 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 walk contact walk, play. Walk, this is an walk, apex walk, call. Walk, walk, walk. walk. This is how side. apex plays counter yeah. but he's making a whole team do it. Thank you for that. That's right. That was what I needed to see. Okay, so we're back in. That was Skybox brought to you by America's Navy. Shox has got himself out this time. So this is the same look to the first round, or the, rather the round prior. This time he's actually gone out to deny that space. Nico's got a flash. They want to take Monster here. Shox is actually nowhere to be seen, so they might call this clear. This could be false info. They'll be aware there's a potential. But I don't know if Cold Zera is truly ready for Shoxy. This is hard to clear. Very hard angle. Freebie delivered. The mole. There's a rat in the back lines. Now they're coming for Kyirby. Look at this, they're returning. Are they going to clear this though? Oh, oh, Apex, don't lazy clear here. Kyirby could be on a multi. Oh. Daiwu took Apex off. Three on three. Bomb loose towards still the monster. Still a minute left. There's still a minute left. This round playing out in a very different set of circumstances. They regroup. And so do the CTs. Oh my what god, what is happening? Yeah, precisely. Okay, so the bomb, it's going to be recovered. Kirby didn't even get a kill there, by the way, Alex. That was a TK. Stolen from him by Zaiwu. He's going to get caught in transition. Shox takes him down. Both had rotated away. Oh, my goodness. The site's wide open. The smoke, though, from heaven is almost enough to perhaps suggest that pushing through that smoke is not too wise. 28 seconds. He continues to try and keep the utility looking present. They're enough. faking it. Yo, FaZe have sold this one so well. Who's on the site? Rain, tucked in. This is a hard clear. He could have a multi here. Shox needs to make this frag. Oh, the flash, it's so good. It's perfect pop flash and a leg shot. Not like this, Brokey, no scope. Upgrades to the AK, no, he can work with that. On for a 1v2. Masuta's flash gets them into the site, but Brokey wants to dig his team out of it. RPK says no. Nine grand in the bank account. My God, Vitality. Definitely starting to come online with three rounds in a row. This was how it started. A little variation on the same shock's luck, and that was the Masuta frag. This is the Masuta flash up next. Boop. Oh, the confidence that they've had behind that flash. That's wow. a clutch flash right that is there. It's clutch as hell. Because all it takes is rain to kill one, Get probably him. slows down oh, the I'm plant. I'm starting to become a little French fanboy. There we go. Maybe. But look, there's a couple of teams when we kicked off the year that I was, wasn't was sold on. Vitality, since these roster changes and how things have been changing, I'm enjoying this team more and more. I like the pace changes. I like what they're bringing to the table. It's very different to the CS we just cast as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a push here. Ah! Arthur doesn't hurt it. No, oh no, no. God. I have not seen that from Rain. Never. In all oh, my years no. have I seen fit 20 bullets squandered into a one-on-one. -on -one. Kirby, off angle, looking for something. Going to get overwhelmed here, and just like that, this this style of Counter-Strike, they're already on the site. The comms must be full of frustration. 
Cold Zero has a chance. Runs out of bullets. Zaiwu puts him to bed. Tucks him in nice and tight. And Brokey, this is ballsy. Oh, but he misses his one shot. His one opportunity. Blah, 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 Eminem. Six for Vitality. Everything you ever wanted. I, like, that's the thing, though, Alex. You know what we could start doing very soon? Is songs when we were teenagers. Yeah. We could start bringing in, like, subtle phrases from those, and no one's going to get the references because they're all too young. Yeah, so we can just sound original. Yeah. Ooh. By stealing someone else's content. There's Rain in his dark cave. Definitely not feeling too happy about that one, though. All right, all right, all right. Goodness, all right. Me, goodness, 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 goodness. Let me have a look at this. So that's now four in a row. Bear in mind, phases five came in a consecutive order. So this has been the real they won changing the force of the fight, guard. Yeah. yeah, precisely. And now, hoping to see a little bit of a bite to this pistol round. Plenty of smokes. It's unlike Vitality to run out of time, though. They're certainly... Gosh, how does Vitality Na'Vi play out? I bet that's a fun little comparison. I think the thing is, because we see the flair of Vitality, we seem to think they're a quicker team. I know I tricked myself yes. in thinking that, and I'm like, yeah, no, they... they, that, they was, that wasn't a quick round with a flashbang. Oh, no, right exactly. The yeah. So they, they, they play, like, aggressive in certain portions of the round. Look at this. This is still... This looks like a fast round, right? The fact he's up short, jiggling. But the truth is, they're not going to commit unless... Well, that was a kill. RBK oh. has just killed them both, though, so that's the round open. Pretty much, and probably the round closed at the same time. Unless <laughs> Nico can do anything huge, he cannot. But th that's the thing, it's almost like... I'm trying to think of a good way to explain how Vitality are approaching all of these scenarios. It's like they're dipping their toe in the water, right? You know, like they're just testing, oh, is it too cold? Is it too hot? You know, the Goldilocks and, counter strike. And then if that, no, it's just right. Let's yeah. go in. And then if it's not, they're like, okay, we can hang around for a little while. We'll just chill out to see what's going on in a, in a very French way. Yeah, exactly. I, what's the, what's the last, la, 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 that's the one. Oh, don't let, don't let an Australian try and say things in any other language. <laughs> Lay safe there. Das for Danya, mate. Das for Danya. Das for Danya. Astrovia. That was RPK with a triple kill. Tack. Love to see it. He's got a giant Garfield in the back. Some of you may not recognize that. That was a cat from the cartoons that were in the newspaper, which is kind of like the, the news website you open on your tablet, but it was like printed. Yeah. And you could open it with your hands. And you used to come, well, in Australia, it used to come in this, like, plastic roll because there was a lot of moisture on it. But now we're not using uh, single-use plastics as much, so it probably comes in a nice little carbon-neutral roll. Oh, RPK took a lot of damage there. I think that's going to stop the tank, chat. I don't think so. The tank always rolls forward. you got to blow off the bloody tracks to stop that thing. But double up again. This time it will be in the hands of Cold Zero, not Nico. Masuta. Might get a kill towards Barrels because that's where Kirby is. As we mentioned, he's more of a toilet player, a bathroom player, than he is a B player. Bit of a team flash there. Kirby's been Ooh. so paranoid about this boost this whole time. Look, Cold's staring at it. Nico's staring at it. Guys, you're all looking at the same spot. Okay, well, the opening did come through Cold's orb. So that is a big start right here. That was all the way onto Apex. The in-game leader of Vitality is taken out of the equation. With the low HP on RPK, it does feel like FaZe should be looking to convert Round number 13. However, if Brokey gets forced back off of this line, which he won't, there may have been a chance to snowball into the site. Flash over the top. Rain might peek off of this. It's good. Hi. It's and great. Goodbye. His movement a little sketchy here. Brokey in support, trying to get Rain out of dodge. But for now, it does seem like this one is all good in the phase hood. A flash not present. It will have to be brute force. They've got so much cash, they'd be foolish not to try and take as many CT weapons out as they can. They have to try and commit. They have to try and plant, play the retake, and all oh, the movement from Shocks. That's just instinct. Jumps off the, the pipe, relocates to the first. Kirby down, perhaps the bomb too. And that's a dream. Fakes it? Are you crazy? He wants a frag and he gets it. Brokey goes down. Trying to cut down their numbers. He knew there were some tag players. Potential for multi-frag. RPK has max money. He can buy his tank, I think. Hang on, I, re I reckon I... I'm going to Google how much a tank costs. Uh, a I would say, one, I would say a second-hand tank probably going to cost you about 60 to 70,000 euros. And tank for sale. Let's, gonna, buy, let's buy RPK a tank. Hang on. Wait, are we going to crowdfund it? I, I would prefer not to... Uh, not storage tanks. Should I... What, how do I specify I want uh, the, the Just type vehicle. World War II tank. Uh, well, why is it... Why are you getting specific? Well, I just thought you, that you want a second-hand tank. Yeah, I guess I guess the World War ones are probably a good candidate. Oh, a French one. The white half-track. How much does that cost? I'm not seeing prices here. 
I'll have to give uh, Chateau Bonnet a call. We have to get on the auction <laughs> website. Chateau <laughs> Bonnet. Sharma Nicks. Excuse me. Just sounded like tires. Oh, shocks. Look at this. Through the smoke. He's oh. seen cold. cold keep seen going. Nothing. Keep sauntering. Keep walking. Just everybody pause. Let shocks make. Okay, Zyra, don't pause. This is cool. You're dead cold. See you later, mate. Oh, this round. The worst kind of way to lose it. Just from a blink of an eye, it goes from a 5v5 to a 5v1. And they can hunt. You pointed out the cash before. It's the last round coming up next. I would just send everybody out. Leave one guy with the bomb. If you're playing matchmaking or ESCA at home, make sure someone stays with the bomb. And make sure that guy, he's not keeping a knife out. Make sure he's actually guarding it. But everyone else, just get hunting, get looking, get oh, chasing. Oh, jeez, Chad. I'm afraid this, the tank from World War II. Yeah. Price estimate around 350 to 450K. Uh, so I'm afraid the, the crowdfunding aspect, cool, but yeah. not going to happen. Uh, this was Cold pulling out his knife, which even made the kill even more brutal. His $7,000 were pulled out of his bank account uh, with his knife in his hand. Never fun. What does CSGO say when you get caught? It says, brought a knife to a gunfight. That's the one. Thank you, yeah. Rain. Wow, it's still in there. Last round, first half, second map. Low buy for phase. It is a force buy. So we were doing the terminology before. A force buy is when you spend all of your dollar -y dues. Even uh, when you can't afford the, all of the jibbly wibblies. All the good stuff, like a full buy scenario. And two Famuses, two Deagles, and an M4A4 is definitely not a full buy by the Chad Virtual Counter-Strike book. Yeah, I haven't read that yet. It's not out of, yet. Uh, great esports books, so I'm sure I need to get around to reading. Well. Rain, another quiet what day in the office for him. Caught out on the party aggression, and that was the best weapon for the job as well. Vitality traveling as a pack animal at this point. One mind. One goal. The hive. Bzz. You can use that, Vitality. We'll let you have that tagline for your team. Wow. Put yeah, in a is, hype movie. because of the whole bee thing? Yeah. All right. Well, well, why don't I shout that at my top of my lungs when they lift a trophy in a LAN environment? I like the sound of that. And then uh, they can put it in the movie. Hang on, Nico. I mean, it's always exciting when I see things like this. Unfortunately, that's the reality for Nico this time. Shut down by Masuta. That's the start for the CTs. Kirby, he's going to swing out and realize there's nobody home. And... Look at the... Look at the reaction. Look at the reaction. They know Kirby's pushing for info, and their call is not... Accelerate A, their info is, he's called it clear, he's pushing, let's go the long way round. Kyobi's going to be going through Connector at the same time as they run through Monster. Oh dear. Well, this is so, I mean, it's smart, and it's going to work. He'll be lucky to get one kill here, he should just be looking for info, and the info's there. Now he's going to be isolated towards Sandbag. He needs the rotation to come through, he needs some help. Nobody needs to help Kyobi when he gets a triple. One on two situation. Bomb down just in time. Cold Zera closing the gap. Is Apex prepared? Spots him and just in time. Brokey does save the day. It will be an 8 7 half. Kirby saves FaZe Clan and keeps it as close as can be. That was the only way out. The only way out was a multi kill, and he does exactly that. Defuse with plenty of time to spare. Brokey's Deagle was the final to fire. And an 8 7 half, folks, here on Overpass. Fire.
of Kitty Champion, RPK doesn't have current form. RPK is ethereal to your mortal planes of slumps. He has ascended above the qualms of mankind and exists tears above our wildest imaginations. He is tank, tank is he. RPK is permanent, permanent is tank. He is forever. Thank you very much to Kitty Champion for your submission. I like your way with words. I love that. Yeah, and Chad Burchill, of course, wants more of that. But into our second half of our second games, and already we're seeing Vitality this time questioned. The fact that FaZe Clan struggle on their CT sides and posted seven here on Overpass, a map that's been in the black box, yet to see a single game on Overpass with FaZe Clan's 13 maps with the tenured player, that is Kirby, joining the ranks. So a bit of an unknown MVP. entity. And we are into the pistol with Shox just catching a bit of trivial damage. I'm not sure what Cold Zera's Glock shooting has anything to do he with anything. He is masking the footsteps, Alex. Ah, thank you, Chadney. And now Zywoo is... An struggling to find his second. This is a three on three. Survival key being pushed down. Cold Zera had the bomb and all the nades and brokey has gone too. Zaiwu arrives in the pistol round. We were just talking about this, Chad, off air. We were. Nico might have something to say about that himself though. Gets the dink, takes down the tank. And two to find here, Masuta. And Zaiwu who's been on some form. Zaiwu finishes it off. That's four for him. Yeah, well, I was like, Alex, I'm a little bit worried for uh, Vitality here. Maybe they'll drop their map pick, you know? Maybe it'll end up going to a third and we get to see Nuke, we get to see that really cool T-side from FaZe Clan that we've been speaking about from earlier in the year. And you said, Zaiwu's been pretty quiet this game. I did. And the CT started overpass. And uh, I think he heard you because he's kicked this one off with an absolute bang. That shot into Cold Zero just won him the round, like... Four more of that, of course, and very nice as well. Puts a full M4 util into Ooh, his hands. It's a, basically a full eco on the side of things from FaZe. They didn't get the plant down. That Molotov has, in fact, missed. The nade through the smoke will land onto Shock. So two rounds in a row, he's taken the chunk of damage from that in the beginning. What's he up come to? on, come through. Oh, he actually slips the net. He only gets one. Does put an MP9 into their hands. Zywoo, however, oh, is being caught out. Nico, last one. And, well, that one fizzles out into a whisper and a whimper. But only an investment of $300 which was literally all Nico spent to get two kills and to take away the Kevlar or the head armor, yeah, the, the guns there. That's actually not too bad for FaZe. So we will see them bringing out the AK-47s in the third round of the second half here, round number 18 in total, scoreline 10 to 7. And this will be the last map of the series if Vitality convert. If not, we will be going over to Nuke as the third and final map of the second series here today. Hang around for Big versus G2 if you want some more Counter-Strike action. The Germans... We'll be taking on the Frenchman. Not for the first time. Now, slow spread early. Kirby over towards the B side of things. Having to take control of the sewer position. A lot of responsibility on him, but this will be our first duel. Molotov up to the shelving level. Shock staying poised. He's not moving. This is a four-man stack over towards A. Double peak. Dinked. Eliminated. And Zywu goes down too. FaZe, this is a perfect start and they want to finish it right now as well. Wow, that's one way to do it. The round practically falls to a complete and total halt at one minute left on the clock. Oh, there's no right decision for Apex here. He's boxed in. You can see Kirby now taking control of the B bomb side. If you just take a look at the radar, number three. And the fact that he has no way out, no escape route, it means that he's less likely to hold on to this M4. If he pushes his head up through the bank or tries to go up the stair area to take a duel, he will be deaded. I think that was one of Rush's terms. Yeah, homicided. But he might get a shot against... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
And there it is. So he was contained quite well. Kyobi didn't push and go for too much information. He was just playing within that site to see if Apex would be trying to save towards T spawn. And that's eight rounds now on the board for FaZe Clan. Good shooting from Brokey. Yeah, didn't panic. It's one of the keys with the AK-47. As soon as you panic and it rains, you start spraying unless you have God tier spray, like Get Right of Old or some good players these days. JKS, RPK I on think. Yeah, RPK on Dust 2. I think JKS has some very yes, good uh, spray control in the, in the modern era. Shox has only got $700. Yeah, so he... Uh, What's that a product of? I'm not sure. It's 1,400 loss bonus for the first round lost. So he had $0 going into the previous. Or he spent enough money that he had zero left. They're just going contact. This is cool. This should work out wonderfully. RPK actually finding oh, not the another Molly one. Molly fluffed. It wasn't deep enough. That's why you could stand there and get two. Damn. That is a problem. Brokey's Molly gives him room to maneuver. Shock's closing the door behind them. Nico's holding this though. And oh. Does connect a couple of those Deagle bullets, but that's enabled Zywa to get into position. Oh. And Shock's takes the head off Nico. They can't lose this. Just Deagles. Surely not. He picks with the scout, makes it even more scary. Cold's error is low, and now he's tagged another. They're working with nothing. 29 points of health. Oh, he's done his job. No. Positions to stop the plant. Spots more than that. It's Brokey gone. So I was still lying in wait. Cold's error has absolutely no idea. They're going to get three AKs for this, Chad. If they, play, if they finish this now, they'll practically be able to recover at least one or two. He can't grab the bomb and start planting, because I will pick him. He's trying to get over towards Sandbag and Apex, the scout master. He's making it work. And RPK, well, he was the hero. Glancing from the barrel position, still propped on up. The molly wasn't deep enough. That was it. It still burnt him, right? Yeah. You could see that. But I think we get a replay of it just here. See, it's front. It's at the front of the barrels. How much of it is spilling uh, down onto the floor? And then he gets flanked. My God. Okay, so this is going to be... If Nico's made a call and everything's worked well, apart from the fact that RPK... The utility usage, e yeah. E Eesh. Okay, could be the break break point. I mean, consider how close these two teams are. This could be what separates them. Okay, well, they've bought again, and they do have money to do so. Accelerating over towards the B side of things, and look at all the damage. Nico and Rain are down to half HP before they've taken any territory. RPK is watching the boost as well. They're ready for the tricks. Oh, the flash wasn't good enough. I think it was a team flash. Oh no, this is this is all falling apart. I haven't used any of their utils. I'm surprised that with all of that going on, yeah, there's the first one dropped down now. Let's work this out. That'll take them to 55 seconds. Yeah. Apex has one. I was just sent his out. So they can only contain with smokes for another uh, to roughly about 40, 35-ish. What? No, no territory over towards A, though. What on earth? What on earth? Look how much of a gamble this is from Shocks. Like, yeah, I know. It's just such an all-in. Facing his back towards the toilets, just hoping that that's his first port of call or they'll flash long before they look. I guess it makes sense. It, it is. It's a 50-50. It's a that's less than a 50-50. Like, that's a, that's, a, that's a gamble. This is the roulette table. It's like 33%. You got to remember zeros on the board. <laughs> oh, 30 seconds, folks. There's four at B, Alex. Yeah, there is. And uh, has a molly. RPK's jiggled enough to keep them looking. A flash for him to cross back, and that's another disaster for FaZe Clan. Keeping them at bay. Every fight works their way. Triple kill this time from Apex as the 12th is secured. Vitality back to their winning ways, stringing together two consecutive rounds. FaZe Clan back in the pits of despair. Economical disarray. 2.4. That's about it. And let's see how this one worked out. Because of the clock being rocked, because of the fact those smokes were deployed, because FaZe didn't manage to catch anyone with their boost on Nico. The CTs were in the right place. A flash to get the frag. Check out the frag distribution on the Vitality side. There's only two frags between t top and bottom fraggers right Yeesh. now. It's a team effort to get them up to 12. Nice to see a Norwegian flag on the player POV. Haven't seen much of FaZe Clan during their journeys in Cologne. Yeah, we don't see much of Dignitas either in the retirement home, unfortunately, with Hal Zerk on the uh, That's true. AWP. It was, there was a time when the Norwegian flag was flying pretty high in Counter-Strike. Cronen. Zevez. Zevez, you're doing well. We had, uh, we had Rain. Polly. We had Polly. We had Rubino. Yes. We had... Um, oh, what was the other kid? Uh, Young one showed up. Uh, Halzerk's obviously the most recent. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Rubino, Croman. I swear there was another name. There was another one. Oh, hang on, I had the chat open. I wonder so if they're shouting. Truth. Obviously, Vendetta. Vendetta. Of broadcast and... 
see a source fame. Norwegian players. ESL. Whew, really rolling in the back. He was here as the um, tournament director for a little while. That's true. He was a cool dude. He was also the GM of Berlin Alliance in the CGS. Going back to my era. Berlin Alliance. Yeah, the Berlin Alliance was the name of the team in the CGS that Fifi was in. And uh, he lost to me. He'll never live that down. <laughs> Look, it's actually insane. The more I reflect on how long I've like actually been involved in the Counter-Strike scene, it's it's wild. I, d I, d I didn't think... Jacob. Damn Jacob. it. Of Thank course, you, he's still playing. Thank you, Jacob. That was annoying me. All these names, all these years, it's crazy. Okay. I think it, that's why I think I'm old, Alex. Yeah, dude. I mean, because I, I have to remember stuff from 15 plus years ago. Every day. That's what makes you feel old. Of course, the reality is you were 15, 15 years ago. And those and those kids yesterday thought I looked 25. So uh, yeah, you're doing all right flattery. for yourself. Doing all right for yourself. But they wanted something from us. So yeah, that's true. Hanging out by the river, catching some rays and shots from Saiwu, getting himself back into the frame of mind. All right, Faze, come on. Yanko's in the ear right now. What can you say? He's walking back and forth. He's saying, listen, boys, we've lost a total of nine maps in a row. This is our chance to break the drought. This is our chance to bring back the confident FaZe clan. We've got some of the best Counter-Strike players to ever touch the game. We've got major MVP Kyrby, our most recent pickup. Let's take it to Vitality. Let's give him the beans. Yanko wouldn't say give him the beans, but... Close enough, though. Yeah. That got my blood pumping. Oh, and the flash is good, but Masuta still takes one. So flash, oh, BK's vision restores, but it's too late. Nico's into the site. Apex is too, though, and he's trying to make it as difficult as possible. The spray is good onto Brokey. A two on two, very quick into the round. Molotov for the after plant. Cold Zera can buy time with that. Doesn't have the info yet. Zaiwu with the kit, closing in the gap. Shox doesn't want to arrive yet as Zaiwu draws their attention. Nico checking monster. Cold in limbo. This is the kill. If Cold gets Zaiwu, round over. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. He's not ready for the sandbags, is he? He is, and he hits the shot. Still a chance. Five second defuse with the kit in play. Shock's dropping down. Nico needs a multi-kill here. Has found the first, but it's such low HP. Down to 10. Around the Rosie. He swapped to the AK. It should be Zywoos. Has he got the time? No time. Saves the AWP and will find safe haven. Oof, okay, just, just getting across the line there. Nico, 18 kills to his name now. Cold Zero, 14. That was the two heroes to make sure that they could put 19 on the board. Apex, he did a great job. A multi-kill. Unfortunately, wasn't able to convert there onto Cold Zero. And then Nico, all he had to do was run around the pole, make life a little bit awkward, rot that clock. And here, the buy will come back out for the phase clan side of things. So, a couple of Galils, AK-47. So, we won the AWP again. M4s are plenty. It looks like it's going to be another B play. Heaven Smoke coming in. Molotov over towards Short and straight through their barrel. RPK holding down the trigger. This time he gets nothing. Nade from Apex. It looks good. Real good. It's shy. Flash high. Cold Zera meets Masuta. Zaiwu as well. Perhaps Everyone's here. Go out and everyone is on the side, but it's all blue on brown. Nothing from FaZe Clan in the feed. Needs to change now and already it gets worse. 14th secured for Vitality, and it's off the back of Miss Suta. I have to admit that his arrival into Vitality, I was skeptical. And the results backed my skepticism up for a while. But honestly, it seems that giving a rookie the time to understand and adapt into Tier 1 Counter-Strike is a process. And I don't think anyone was under the illusion it wouldn't be. But he has taken to it like a fish to water. Definitely starting to play his game here. You think about the years of experience he has around him, right? Apex, Shox, and RPK all come from the same era of CS Source, right? You know how I'm talking about 15 years ago? Well, you that's when these boys were doing it, right? To, to see what, how old is he, 17, 18? He's a 17 year old he kid. He gets all of that. Like, he's, he's, he's going through tier one Counter Strike in fast mode. Yeah, his brain can be like a sponge in this situation. He yes. can soak up as much information Precisely. as possible. And then, right, I just mentioned the veterans. You also have, last year, the best player in the world for 2019. Like, let that sink in for a second. I don't think people really get this. I was talking to my, my friend Jake Hess the other day, and I was like, Juzzy, you are a top 20 player in the world. Top 20 player in the world of a highly, the most highly contested video game out there. Year-round circuit, day in, day out, hours upon, counter stratting everything is evolving. You're if you're a top 20, 20 player, Zywa was number one. Yeah. Number one. King of the bloody castle. Yeah, I mean, and, and to be able to play with the tenured 
veterans that are RPK, who does draw first blood, and Zaiwu, who just tagged through the wall, and oh. Shox, of course, one of the veterans and one of the world's best players about five years ago. Still, though, seeing Zaiwu fill the feed, and this one has petered out to a whisper again. This was a full force as well from FaZe. This is uh, harrowing times. I imagine comms has fallen silent. I imagine now... That feeling. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're, you're already processing it. You're already daunt, like fearing the round to come, the fallout of what will occur, the awkward team meeting where people are going to have to point out what went wrong, and sometimes that will be on you. Brokey, definitely not looking forward to the reminder of that barrel's molly. But it is all just one round at a time, and for now, Vitality... I've taken to this one quickly. Three quick frags out of the gate. Put those force buys straight back where they started in spawn. And they keep re-smoking this, and it's, see what it's enabled them to do. It's going to tuck Zywin in on the corner just at the right time. Game sense on point. That is one of the many things that makes Zywu the player he is. Even if Zywu falls here, Apex is in tow, and all oh, that nade is great. Just close it down now. Round 15 should be posted on the board any second here. Brokey. Wants to make it a little bit more interesting. Finds two. Didn't pick up the bomb. So that little blunder will cost him a couple of extra seconds. And now with only 10 remaining on the clock, he has to plant. They can just run after him. They can chase him down. They can take the space. And they've denied the bomb plan as well. So Masuta finishes uh -huh. things off. Yeah. Question. Mm. Zywood didn't tuck into that corner. He was playing more like just kind of wide. Is that just the, the advantage of hoping that if it was fading and they were pre-aiming the corner, like, I just wanted to understand his decision-making there, because I thought, you know, he tucked into the corner more like to run past you. I he think, was, like, there, like, yeah. just in the off angle. I think the off angle was just so exactly that. They're not pre-aiming his position, okay. because okay, you, okay. you would, as the smoke's fading, you're looking to the most common positions. If you're in an off angle, it's much it's harder to adjustment. bank on, right? Okay. And they will have to flick on over. No the science behind it there. Uh, Quick stop, Molly. And... Uh, and one slips the net. I Nico. Don't, I don't know. I guess they want to go fast, right? So they're trying to take away the sound cues with the spamming. It's a, it, it, it does not hugely... Uh, Effective? Well, it's obviously doing something that's worked in practice for them, but let's see if it helps. Flash yeah. was banging. Nico's also hit the deagle shot. Zywu flashed off, but so is his teammate. That keeps him alive for a moment longer. The fast B toilets. Or rather, the fast toilets to A. Masuta and RPK. Okay, save these. That would be the call from Vitality right now. Shox has enough money to buy in the next. RPK could drop a gun and Masuda could do the same. So let's just do the quick maths for everybody, right? If you just take a look at the right-hand side of your screen, the loss bonus that will be coming in on the next round, let me just double check so I'm not giving you guys any misinformation. I'll bring up my little caster HUD. Uh, will be 1,400. So... RPK is going to go up to over 5k. He's going to hold on to all of his nades, so he doesn't actually need to reinvest a lot for himself. And the same pretty much for Masuta. And you can see the amount of money that they're working with. So the 1400 on top, that's just a little bonus, right? That's just the Christmas bonus they're about to get. Whereas for Apex, Shox, and Zywu, right, their money is in a bit more of a rough spot. So RPK and Masuda can drop guns across to Apex and Zywu, and AWP especially from the hands of Masuda. Shox can buy himself. Right, he can buy himself an M4, Kevlar, grab a couple of nades, and that means they'll have a potent buy. So if you're questioning, you know, why aren't they going for this round? Maybe you're a little bit newer to Counter-Strike, you're not quite certain on the approach. Well, that's the answer for you right there. So you can see, now it is a full buy round. It's uh, basically taking your toys, going home, and getting ready to play the next day, and the next day is here, round number 26. Phase. Oh, I missed do some Molly again. I missed Molly. Yeah, Shox hasn't quite Happened got the consistency times. on that yet. Fast again, and they're going to be going for the boost. So this could be a chance for Nico to find a pick off the head of rain. Molly towards the barrels, flash is coming over. Is Masuta in a position to uh, Ooh, challenge okay. this? I just think oh his wow, look, bottom is covered. Oh my his god, boot, his butt cheeks are. Oh, you can see the shadow. Is that his shadow? No, 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 no never mind. That nade though, didn't quite get to acknowledge that, but that is a significant amount of damage, about a hundred no, damage. That is his shadow. I think that's the box, bro. It's a triangle. He hasn't got a triangular butt cheek. I don't know. Rush, can we free cam that? God, you're asking a lot. No butt shadow. Oh, it is his shadow. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. I didn't know we had dynamic lighting to the point where he gets all long boy when it's coming from a different angle. Cool. All right, anyway, 5v5. They're going into B. RPK, Masuta, all positioned. Apex as well, but it's Brokey. Close quarters orping, charging in. 
Molly will buy some space. Apex trying to survive, but he won't be able to. This is good for FaZe. Shock's closing on the, the flank. Bomb yet to be planted. And look at the Cold's error angle. I like what RPK is doing here. There's a chance that Cold's not going to check it, but he does look poised to sweep in. One. Broke. He doesn't trade it. RPK lives to fight another day. It's a 3v3. Missed shot now. Nico doesn't make the same mistake. Need to see RPK do something. And that's a double. Oh, disaster strikes again for FaZe Clan. And it's all onto Brokey. He can hit that shot, but RPK's done it all. The tank pulls him across the line. And they are on.